dog. The ring out the clouds, the red on my parade. Hello guys, it's me, JFM here to give you another video. Uh-huh. Click. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just trying to sync uh, my voice along with the video here, because I'm watching it. I'm speeding it up for convenience sake. And I'm showing you how I upload a JNT Quickie online. And, you know, it's it's a very uh, tedious process, but it's fun. And yeah, as you can see, I was trying to see how to spell surprise or something, because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> it, it, words look different when you see them in a, a certain font, you know? But, but yeah. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while, you know? Just, uh, you know, showing you how I um, work on the website, you know, how to code the pages, and all that jazz. I'm just speeding up the the process where I'm typing out the words in InDesign. And it's a very great uh, program to use when you're typing text because uh, a whole bunch of text options you have, you know, it's much better than Microsoft Paint or uh, uh, or Microsoft Word or something like that because this deals with text and format and it's it's just amazing. I mean, you could use Photoshop too, but you get a lot more options uh, to uh, to type stuff uh, on uh, Adobe InDesign and yeah if it wasn't for college I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't know about this uh, about this program I mean I remember back when I first learned about InDesign I'm like oh I'll never use this it looks so dumb but hey I had a um, pretty bad teacher uh, for that certain class and and uh, f as the years went by, I actually learned that InDesign is a amazing program. So, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is my first video in like three weeks or so. Oh my gosh! I know a lot of you might think I'm I'm uh, I'm slacking or something like that, but believe me, I'm just busy here and there. I mean, I got my own personal projects along with uh, some drawings and episode nine. And I got uh, JNT Volume 2 um, uh, ready. I'll let you guys know when it's ready f to be on sale. And I'm just getting over this this terrible cold. Well, I should t I should really talk about the fonts I use. Well, the font I use for basically this, uh, the sound effect you see now and the dialogue is called Digital Strip 2 and I have everything on a different layer I have the image on one layer the uh, the title and the in the strip and the quickie number on the second layer and the t and the actual dialogue on the third layer and the, yeah okay here we go we're supposed to uh, yeah everything slowed down or not slowed down but in normal speed okay now that I pretty much got the 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 quickie all typed up I actually export it as a JPEG to in my uh, strip file it's in it's inside my file it's, it's inside my Jeff and Taylor file and then inside that file is is a, is a file called uh, strips as uh, I'll open it now so you can see and you would find strip 073 in there and I place that in this uh, image called um, called a uh, news banner which is the actual image you see on the on the front page the home page of the Jeff and Taylor website yes this is an actual image and I edit this image in Photoshop I have a transparent layer and I save all the layers right there you know I don't flatten it and you can see uh, you will see later how I uh, save everything, you know, with the transparent uh, background and all. And you can see here I type up the little summary. I just I, I just wing something for the sake of this video, you know. But yeah, I'm using text here in Photoshop. 
And the difference between you using text in Photoshop and InDesign is that you really can't control the letting, you know, the, the spaces between the lines um, of the text, of the paragraph in Photoshop. And it's, and it's kind of challenging to, to actually um, work with your font sizes in Photoshop because it's like, uh, it just goes over the, over, all over the place. Oh, here we go. I'm just I'm gonna type in the the last line. I was trying to think of a, a little joke, and it fits perfectly, even though it doesn't make sense. Save it for marriage, yeah, because married couples always invade each other's privacy in the shower. Not that I know. I'm not married, but I would imagine it's it's common. It's very common. It's like you know. I don't care if you're taking a shower, I need to use the toilet. Ba -ba -ba. Isn't that what all married couples do? They would have to. Alright, so now I resize the image so it can uh, actually fit in the in the website. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I actually, uh, uh, let's see. I save it as you know. There's a little uh, option on Photoshop called Save for Web and Devices. I use that, and then I save it as a PNG file. And I and I uh, replace. You know, I go to the little uh, document file where it has all my files for the JNT website, and I actually save it as bulletin graphic. That's what it's called. It's, it's kind of confusing. The The Photoshop image is called News Banner, but I save it as bulletin graphic in the in the document, you know, you know, in the JNT website document. So now that that's all saved, I open up the actual strip, JPEG, and I am... I, actually, <laughs> before I save it, I, I, I remembered I had to uh, draw up some uh, badly drawn uh, music notes because David is singing singing badly so I had to use uh, you know si since it, I had to draw crappy looking notes I used the mouse to draw them up or to sketch them up I scratched them chicken scratch you know that's what they are so yeah a little fan service for you girls you know <laughs> David I actually did, <laughs> I don't know why but you know when I I just thought of this, you know, I thought it would be funny, but now that I think about it, I never really drew David without a shirt that often, so I'm afraid I drew him too buff. So, yeah, David is not really that buff, you know, I guess. <laughs> it, it's funny, but, but hey, it's a funny strip, you know, it is. So, yeah, I uh, resized the, the whole image to uh, 72... Uh, dots per inch you know from 300 to 72 that's the standard um, uh, size file size for for online or, or screen what well, well, uh, looking at an image on screen 72 uh, DPI is the standard so after that's done I actually resize it again for the thumbnail and I lower the 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 resolution or or the quality down to zero just to make the file really really small I mean I mean you see the thumbnails of the um, of the strips and pages of, uh, and they're very little so who cares if they're very pixelated they're they're just there to identify the page and click it as a little hyperlink and here we go we get to work on the actual pages of the the website coding and everything. On the left you see the actual code of, of the page and on the right you see the the physical image of the page that the, that the code is uh, um, making. So I open up, you know whenever I update a quickie I have to update some pages. I have to update the home page, the, the quickie page, the, you know the quickie index. I have to open up the previous uh, quickie, which is in this case page 72, uh, out of the bag, <laughs> part two, 
that one and I make a new file yeah as you can see I'm circling you know the code and and everything on that code makes the image you see so we're gonna open up a new file create and immediately I save it I save it along with the other uh, strip pages page 73 and ha this is how I do it since all of the pages are exactly the same all I have to do is copy and paste the code copy and paste is your friend when it comes to uh, coding a website believe me especially if you have similar looking pages so all the information you see all the images all the uh, you know all the images that are used all the information all the all the everything that that makes the uh, uh, images come together are copied and there we have it an exact copy of page 72 but this is page 73 since the image is already co is already saved into the uh, documents the JNT website document I could just plug and replace from I just uh, pay I just type page 73 and there you have it it's been updated it's been changed instead of 72 it's 73 different page and you see the hyperlink uh, of the arrow telling you to you know if you go back I, I just uh, plug and replace you know instead of 71 it's 72 and with every new uh, strip uh, the right click since there's no page 74 yet I just type page 73 again basically you're just refreshing the page if you click right yep man I know it's a bit confusing but uh, you get used to it you know this is how I learned actually I learned from basic coding first and then Dreamweaver but that's not all you know I since page 73 exists I have to update page 72 so yep yeah, there you have it I have to update that and I have to update the index page and you see the code is very very long <laughs> very long oh my gosh so in order to do that in order to update I just copy and paste the previous thing and just you know I, I copy and pay I copy the the previous page then paste and then plug and replace and you up and you see it updated you know it's I I just plug and replace I just there's two if there's two types of information jeez oh, I think I lost myself because the because the computer had to go to sleep or, or, or something like that so I, let's see if I can find myself again okay now we're on the on the home page all I have to do is uh, update the hyperlink from 72 to 73 and that's it I'm done that's bulletin graphic right there all I have to do is update that hyperlink and yeah all the pages are saved now we go to the FTP site uh, thing. Basically, uh, this Smart FTP is my how you say publisher for um, for the website. This is how the files go online and stay there. It's like a little terminal for the files. So what files we updated? We updated index, which is the home page, the strips and gags so I copy those and then I paste them into the into the little icon that says Jeff and Taylor uh, comic dot com and it says copy and replace yes it's, it's telling you this file already exists in the website do you want to replace it yes copy and replace it update it basically and that's not all I have to update the images too so I copy and paste bulletin graphic and I copy it into the little folder that says images and yeah replace it now what's next well the strips you know you know the actual page 73 shower surprise that that's what it's called so I have to update that uh, but not into images it's a little subfolder inside images called strips 
So I have to open that up, and then I paste it in there. And there it's updated. It's there. It's updated and ready to go on the website. It's it, it's a little live publishing. That's what it is. And you really can't publish the um, your website or upload your 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 files into the website without uh, an FTP. So you have to buy it and all that. I remember I bought this like I don't know how many times, three times, for different computers. Yeah, I I just uh, basically you get the gist of of everything. I just I, I just copy the images or the files that I need that I updated from the JNT document folder into the, the FTP thing and up there uh, you see information like you, you, you see a password and my little login thing that GoDaddy.com gave me because GoDaddy is Jeff and Taylor Comics uh, hosting site yeah they host and they uh, and they and they're pretty much is a hosting site, you know. That's it. So now that all the publishing is done, let's open up the JNT website, and here we go. Uh huh. Everything looks updated. There's that new page. Let's click on it. And uh, there we have it. Shower surprise, July 11th, 2013. I'm a hentai man. Oh, oh, oh. What's up, David? Da. What the hell are you doing in my bathroom? You know, it's, it's, it's Jeff's not in school. Uh, it, Jeff's not back in, from school yet. Yeah, that Taylor. Jeez. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just. I can barely talk because of my throat, man. I just keep coughing and coughing. Huh. <sighs> There we have it. Here's the previous page. Let's look at the index. Everything looks everything looks good. I should really change the background color. You know, volume two is done. We can get rid of the red. It's time for volume three. Change that background to purple. All right. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you uh, learned something or something like that. I just had to uh, update or upload something. So, there you have it. Goodbye, guys. JFML.